All right. So I wanted to make a little video about how to disassemble and assemble the shrimp butler. Uh, of course, whenever you know you're shelling shrimp and all that, you're going to have to clean this this thing. So here's how you take it apart and get it ready for uh, cleaning in a dishwasher. You push the handle forward all the way and it comes straight out. See how it pulls straight out there? That's in. Pulls straight out. All right. Next, you push this button and push the housing up slightly, then push the back button, put the housing up slightly, and it comes straight off like that. Uh, always remember that the blade is inside here, so you don't want to reach your hand in there, uh, otherwise uh, that blade likes to cut whatever is in front of it. Okay? So this is how you get it ready for the dishwasher. You just get it in these three pieces right here, put that in the dishwasher, put that in the dishwasher, and you should be fine. Okay? So, now, let's say for whatever reason uh, you want to totally disassemble the shrimp butler or if maybe uh, maybe this pops off and you need to reassemble it, I'm going to further break it down. First off on the top is the, the blade. If for any reason you want to take the blade out to clean it uh, further or even replace the blade, what you do is you push to, to the side of this. push on the side of it like this and you'll see it lift up and then when it lifts up you just kind of roll it out like this right here see all right so now the blades out and next over here on the we call this the base all right so over here it has two little locking uh locking whatever you want to call those on the arms you squeeze those and push it in and then you can pull it out like this okay now these are the arms and on each arm it has these nylon bearings all right so nylon bearing uh, push this out farther of course you can see you gotta pinch these little retainers that's what I'll call them let's call them retainers all right, they retain their spot unless you pinch them together like that and push at the same time, okay? As you can see, this part is really not meant to come out of the shrimp bowl. That's why it's kind of hard to, uh, to take it out whenever you're trying to disassemble it this far. Uh -oh. So now, <clears throat> I have the shrimp butler broken down fully into all of its parts, all right? Base, housing, blade, arms, axle, and bearings, and handle, okay? So now let's put it back together. The first thing you're going to do is take one of these arms, and you're going to take your axle right here, and you'll see that all of these corners are rounded except for one side. It's the same way on the axle. There is three rounded corners and one flat. You want to line that up and go pop just like that okay next you want to put your bearing on the shrimp butler and look your bearing on here is going to seat inside of those three little notches there so you put it on and you spin the bearing like this until you feel it seat inside the base now you come and put this over the top of it so now you have and hold it with your thumb like this while holding it on the back side all right now I'm going to put the bearing on the other side. Same thing while I'm holding it here. I'm holding it with my thumb back here. I'm going to spin the bearing until it seats. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of hold that with my finger and take the other arm. And of course, it's going to be naturally lined up with the flat side on the arm. All right. So I just kind of work that in as I'm holding it with my thumb on the back. All right. So now I've got that on. And then. These appear to be seated, but we're, we're going to take it a step farther, okay? What I like to do is get it on there as good as I can, and then I take this and put it down on a hard surface, and then that way I can take and press like this right here to make sure every once in a while you'll feel them go pop. All right, that's a very, very important feature of the shrimp butler to keep it from falling apart on you while you're using it. Uh, if you need to... Uh, maybe bend the 
little retainers out you could take something like a knife blade or and, and you know you see how I'm pushing it out like that right there that'll make sure it further locks in place you want to make sure those are locked so that's never coming off all right so the base is ready to go now let's take I'm gonna put this blade back in here and it goes in this way actually show them closer which way it goes in okay. yeah see how you want the shrimp's going to be traveling this way through the shrimp boa so naturally you want to put the blade in where the shrimp will go across the surface of the blade you don't want to turn it put it in this way because then you all you're going to be doing is poking the shrimp with the blade so turn it in where it's going you know the blade has actually got the same curvature as the housing so put it in there like this you'll do opposite of what i told you before you'll seat the one over here and then you'll push on this one and down at the same time it's in okay next you're going to put the housing on top of the base you see you've got a channel right here and then you've got a little smaller channel over here inside the shrimp butler you'll see the same channel in the back that helps you line up the tool all right so what you're going to do is just come straight down and look inside there and line up that channel to where it fits on the back I'm going to put this down, push this down a little bit. The arms need to be pushed into this situation whenever you're putting the, uh, putting the housing on. Don't put it on like that. Put it on like this, okay? So now I'm going to go straight down. And I'm on top of the channel. And I go pop right there, okay? So you see they both locked in. You want to ensure that your locks lock the housing in place. Next is going to be my um, handle and then I'm going to line it up on that little cross and you can get it started like this and then you turn it to where it'll go inside there. I was saying whenever whenever you put the handle on you know this may actually be up in this position. You, you get it started on that little cross back there and then turn it to where you can sink it in. See this? See that? See that how I sinked it in? Now the handle's fully installed and whenever it's up in action you can't pull the handle out while it's in operation so what i have done for you is uh, show you how to completely disassemble and reassemble your shrimp buckler